I'm here at the Harman audio demo booth. I'm joined by Hugo from Harman to talk about this wonderful space we've got going on here. This has been a packed out space recently, hasn't it? Tell me what's been going on in this space. You must be really excited. Excited, you say, completely excited. I mean, we had an amazing attendance yesterday. We're actually wrapping up our day uh, with this immersive audio conversation and talking about the importance of content creation, not necessarily strictly from, you know, a loudspeaker processing perspective, but that journey, that journey of creating content and delivering those experiences. Uh, anyway. Be a very exciting time for myself personally as well. Uh, you know, joining the group, you know, with that depth of brands, uh, you know, and then the the expertise around the group. You know, we came from a Flux Origi small company of engineering driven around. Oops, sorry, around software, and. Um, and now, you know, moving from this, you know, with, you know, large team of application experts all around that conversation of immersive audio deployments, making those right decisions, those right design decisions as well, which are critical to good success. So, yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting uh, day for sure and, and weeks and months for us. I couldn't agree more. Uh, one thing I've got to bring up, though, is when I hear the word immersive and I know a lot of people in the industry when they hear the word immersive, alarm bells start ringing. What does that really mean? Can I actually ask the question, what, what does it mean to you? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing this you know, as, as a joke. But yeah, that buzzword, that famous immersive audio buzzword, overly abused in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, you hear about these immersive experiences that have nothing about, you know, immersive from an audio perspective. So that confuses the conversation a lot. And, and this is a subject we try to clarify, to clearly understand what do we mean by immersive. And the way that we, th that we bring this to the table is we talk about three distinctive features that these type systems can do. And, and the first one is, the, is more of a technical one than an artistic one. It's this ability to have strong localization, right? The message, I'm looking at you, I'm speaking to you. Well, granted, you want to hear me from where I'm actually coming. So that strong localization, that connection to the pastor, and I also worship, that connection to the artist on stage, that connection to you know the president of the company that's walking on the annual corporate event and was walking on stage. And so that connection, that engagement, that's a very powerful one. So we start with that one purely the concept of localization which is one element um, you know of, of what the immersive audio is all about and then we move on into the two others which are kind of slowly move, moving toward more the artistic part and the first one you know it's this ability to you know surround yes the famous surround their audience to be able to transport them you know, I mean, transporting, envelop them, transport them in another space, right? A wider space. They feel like they're in cathedral. They're feeling like they're in, in a Vienna, you know, style symphonic hall, for example. Um, and then we add to this the third one, which I call more like specialization, a new canvas, right? An artistic canvas, right, that just allows you to, you know, free your mind for what? For sound effects and theatrical production, but even for music, right? Just really free your mind and explore the space um, you know and this at that point is really the artistic you know the artistic aspect of it of course and it's all about that chain isn't it it's about creating that experience from the ground up and it's all about the technologies that are really at the at the core of this tell me a bit about the technology in this room because we've got some really interesting software behind us can you tell me a bit more about this yeah so while we've been discussing you know in the last days there's around spat revolution which is a real-time uh, immersive audio engine also use the word immersive again if you want it is actually doing 2d and 3d as well it's not limited to a single plane but we actually have got the complete freedom of doing multiple layers of loudspeaker arrangement and because we actually have a tool here that's actually not um, a closed environment nor it's actually targeting a specific application we can deliver various formats we deliver spatial audio over headphone potentially for experiences or for monitoring we deliver ambisonic we call it which is more for VR experiences so encoding a scene typically a typical VR workflow so we really have a tool here that's you know allows us to, to deliver to a variety of it's called them formats or you know type systems or target target systems obviously in the context of audio reproduction we're talking about loudspeaker system of course um, so yeah so we've been talking about this I mean I could go on for hours on the subject of what this software does but yes it is a real-time engine but beyond that that aspect of real time it's this ability to actually um, integrate it into an ecosystem what's the ecosystem well it's the typical ecosystem with a workstation 
a mixing console in a live context, but most importantly from a content creation perspective, the actual ability to connect to the DAW of choice of the artist, right? That workstation, that logic, that Avid Pro Tools, that name it, whatever tools it's using. So we have these plugins that bridge the transport, the audio, and the actually metadata to actually simplify from content creation on and onward. And that is the, 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 the real conversation here in the context of Armin with this, with this new venture, with Flux being part of the group, is, you know, really from content creation onward and immersive as a pillar, uh, understanding that, yes, it starts in the studio and we're pro being provided the, the actual tools. So I couldn't agree more. And you wouldn't be enjoying the success that you've had in this space without these technologies that are really bringing the whole system together. So I think that's credit to you, Hugo. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. It was great.